welcome back to the show. Now, it's a busy season of the year for us reporters, so many times group outings are compromised for loan outings. But hey, Blind Date is a place to meet new people and find out quirky things you'd never otherwise get to see. So this week at Escape Cinema, people may have gathered to watch a movie, but their sense of humour was skyrocketing and I saw it firsthand. People seated and ready to watch a movie at Blind Date, of course. But when you're on a date, what two things would you wish to have with you that can help make it an unforgettable one? That's the question I was asking moviegoers. My first catch, actor Nareen. Okay, someone has really put on his thinking caps on a blind date. But the question I'm asking, Nareen, your time, are, your time is up for thinking. So, now if you're on a blind date, what are the two things that you would like to have along with your date? Or what are the two things that you wouldn't like to have? Along with my date, one thing I would I would wish is that uh, the film turns out to be really good. Uh, another thing I would wish that uh, the film help, helps us uh, enhance the romance. Well, looks like the actor might have left his thinking cap at home. But let's find out what the others had to say. Of course, a preferred friend and a good ambience. First is my handbag with all my stuff and hey, some clothes to change to add fire. And things are my girlfriend and my car. That might have been a hard selection for most people. But what would you not like to have when you're on a date? Let's hope Nareen has an interesting answer to this question. I wouldn't want uh, any any other audience other than my me, myself on the date there. No audience, only no both of us. An embarrassing film, my ex-girlfriend, of course. Phone, mobile phone. I would not want my driver or somebody to come along with me. Don't like to have the mobile phone and my car ah, credit cards. No credit. <laughs> Questions might have been unexpected, but the answers were far beyond my expectations. If that seemed like fun to you, why don't you come next week to Escape Cinema to join us on a blind date and surprise you might be the person I walk up to for a chat. Now here's a common dilemma we all face. How many times have you sent off parcels and packages abroad or nationally and have had to constantly be behind the agency to ensure your items are delivered on time and safe? Well, if you're sitting up already, then good, because the next story has some much needed relief with a new logistics company that has set shop in the city. From Abu Dhabi, DGL Logistics, known in the world of packages and freights, is now in India in Chennai as Reflex Co. DGL Logistics, 22-year-old family-run business is now spearheaded by Zulfikar Abdul Hasis, the youngest member in the family and also the visionary behind setting up Reflex Integrated Logistics Private Limited in Chennai. Yeah, what it is, there's a big gap or uh, in fact, organized uh, warehousing or distribution is, uh, is, uh, is very less than India at the moment. In terms of uh, things like uh, reefers, cold storage, there's a huge gap involved in this. So what we are planning to do is, next uh, first year we are going into the basic freight forwarding activities. The second stage what we are uh, going to do maybe in the next one and a half year is to build warehouses, distribution centers, including cold storage, process, processing and ad giving add-on services like packing and all these things related to a product. <music> of the Indian extension of this company is a man who started his career with freight services and moved into supply chain management, now his forte. 20 years of experience, Madhusudan is the base of Reflex in India. India as such is a booming economy. A lot of business happening, a lot of projects going on. Commonwealth Games was a big uh, logistics move I would say, I mean, if you handle it better. And a lot of new projects, new companies coming into India now, uh, if you take latest news, Arriva has uh, signed up 
7 billion dollars in business i mean a nuclear reactor is not just going to be lifted just like that and come into a country it will come in parts so that gives a big scope for logistics our target i would say for 2011 is uh, by the end of 2011 we hope to have 14 offices all over india providing logistic support uh, in multimodal transport to shippers and all our peers in the trade Businessmen's evening at the Raintree Hotel Anna Salai was kept short and sweet with key players in the shipping industry and logistics solution attending the event. Kickstarting their operations in January, Reflex will be headquartered in Chennai and will operate from all major metros in the city. So remember the name and keep your fingers ready when you have a package to be delivered safe and sound. That's all time we have for on shift focus but get typing and send in your comments to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com until next week have a safe and joyous week goodbye